David LeRae is with the National Association of Realtors, the group behind this campaign. But Peter Schiff says that this ad's misleading and that home prices still have further to fall. He's the president of Euro Pacific Capital. Um, so, David, uh, you're kind of preaching to your own choir, right? Well, what we're doing is uh, when we had the real estate boom for the last five years, the media was talking about the boom. It brought in a lot of home buying. Now the opposite is happening. The boom has ended. We're now contracting. And now the media is talking about a bust where it's not a bust, just contracting. And now we're losing a lot of home buyers. But you never so correct, wait, you, know, you never corrected them when they were saying boom. Now you correct well, them when they're saying bust, right? You know, we, we did complain a little. I know I did that you don't want to generalize the real estate markets. All real estate is local. All we're saying really in this campaign is that real estate is local. Don't generalize and say that. Anything that happens to Los Angeles is happening in South Dakota. All right, That's well, Peter, what do you think of that then? They're saying essentially the water's fine, come on in. Now, you know, if prices are favorable, they're only favorable for sellers, not for buyers. Prices are still ridiculously high. You know, they got bit up in a speculative mania based on artificially low interest rates, temporarily low interest rates, uh, lax lending standards, uh, speculative buyers. All those props are being removed from the market. We've got a long way to go down. It's not a great What's time What's a long to buy way house. for you, Peter? Well, you know, bubbles burst, and when they burst, prices collapse. They don't just go down 10 or 20 percent. They go down 50 percent, 60 percent, 70 percent more. Yeah, but you know, cases. you know, Peter, everyone's been saying that, and that you makes me haven't. wonder. That makes me wonder that it's probably overdone, David. That's what you're hoping, I guess, right? You know, I, I tell you, Peter is just one of the reasons why we're doing this campaign because he's really over exaggerating what's happening. It's not a bubble. Bubbles burst. Yeah, but will you acknowledge that he's right in this it's respect, that in some hot markets, prices have come down a lot? Prices have come down, but no, they haven't come down a lot. As a matter of fact, for the nation as a whole, prices will be... I know. Prices. Don't do this nation as a whole thing. In the hot markets, Peter, your argument is well, look, that they're going to lead the way, right? I live in a hot market right now. I'm, I'm, I'm actually looking to rent a house as we speak. And, you know, there's a lot of houses for sale in Connecticut where, where I live. Where are you? I'm in Connecticut. Okay. And there's a lot of houses for sale. Some of the houses are for sale and for rent. And generally, the rents that you have to pay are about half or lower than what the mortgage would be on the same house. And you don't have to pay the property taxes. You don't have any maintenance concerns. Prices are still ridiculously high relative to the So you're to saying that rent. this ad campaign is a waste of their time? Well, they're trying, they're trying to drum up business. I don't blame them for that. I mean, they're trying to sell houses. But, you know, there were a lot of people touting stocks in the 1990s, you know, you know, trying to get people to buy tech stocks and Internet stocks. And they said, look, ignore the valuations. I know there's no dividends. Ignore the P.E.s. Just buy. You know, people are buying. All right. So, David, very quickly, your take on this. He's, he's way too negative. I know. Please don't compare us to the stock market of the 1990s. And also, well, why not? Real estate, wait a minute. Real estate is local. Seventy five percent of this country is expanding and will have positive price appreciation this okay. year. Um, that that is something that we need to get out. That's the word we're getting. Fair and balanced. You both got it out. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. All right. Thanks very much.